Welcome to TI Skills, and in this video we are going to generate a list of perfect cubes using the graphing calculator. And to begin with, I'm going to show you an example of what a perfect cube is. And a perfect cube is the product of a number multiplied to itself three times. So if I took four and I multiplied it to itself three times, that product, 64, is a perfect cube. And so I could do that with any other number. 7 times 7 times 7. We'll see what that is. 343. 343 is a perfect cube. So we are going to generate a list of perfect cubes using our Y editor. So I'm going to go to the Y editor. And for my Y1, I am going to put an X. And I'm going to raise it to the third power. Or have an exponent of 3. Now, this is the same thing as x times x times x. I just condensed that using an exponent of 3. So now if I go to my table, I can now see a list of perfect cubes. Here's the x's that my formula uses, and then it kicks out what this number is multiplied to itself three times. For example, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And this was one of our examples. 4 times 4 times 4 was 64. So our list of perfect cubes is now displayed in our Y1 column. And if I want to, I can go down this list. And I can go down as far as I want. And so we're seeing some other examples of perfect cubes. 12 cubed is 1,728. Now, say you want to look at a larger number. and We'll say 100 and, well, we won't say 100 because that's going to be a large number. Let's just say we want to look at what 50 cubed is. Instead of scrolling down 50 times, what you can do is you can go to your table settings. And where it says independent variable, I am just going to go down there. And it's on auto right now, which means it is just... Um, give me the values and I can scroll up and down to look at different values. I'm going to set that to ask. I want it off auto. I want it on ask. And what that does, it clears my table and now allows me to input any values that I want. So we said 50. Let's see how big that is. All right, so that came out to be 125,000. So that is a 125,000 is a perfect cube. And I could do that with any number that I put in here. There's 80. Um, let's do let's do 100 and see what happens. Okay, so now what happened there was we have a number that's too large for our table, so they put it in scientific notation. So you can see that it appears in scientific notation up here, but down here we have it is 1 million. Okay. So what? Setting your table is set at is up to you, whatever is most convenient for you, but there's just a couple different ways we could go about using this table. But anyways, I hope you found this video yes, uh, success or helpful, and um, it showed you how to create a list of perfect cubes.